Hey, how you doing there again, folks? Me again, of course, Brandon Wenzel. Come back at you. Another offering. Off my sampler bladder. <sighs> yes, indeed, folks. I'm Player View Series V's. I've been doing for a little while. I'll go over there and try out food and drink items. I eat the stuff. I drink stuff. Then, folks, I'm going to talk about stuff. I'm going to let you know all that you need to know about hopefully delicious stuff that, time I'm doing this, folks, I'm not going to lie, it's started to snow just a little bit, and yesterday it was 70 degrees. <laughs> oh, the Midwest, plus changing weather patterns and all that wacky stuff. Boy, oh boy. Um, But anyway, folks, it's super simple format. I'm going to go over there, I'm going to try out food and or drink items for you. Whilst I'm doing so, I'm yammer on about it for a bit, whilst I'm doing all that. I'm inside my truck. Well, so I'm doing all that, folks. I'm wearing grody work clothes. Typically, when I'm inside the truck, I'm wearing grody work clothes. That means I was on my way home from work, and I found some shit to review for you. That is definitely the case today. Uh, I didn't even know this particular item existed until today. Because, um, yeah, I got off of work, and originally I was just going to go straight home, super tired. But I decided to go over there and stop off at a gas station because I was like, you know what, man, you know, maybe I'll grab something to drink. Maybe I'll find a couple things I can review. So, what is it that I'm reviewing? What are we doing here, folks? Well, it's from Rap Snacks. Boom, it's this. It is Rap Snacks uh, Gumbo Onion and Garlic Vinegar Cayenne Pepper Sauce Red Pepper and More Potato Chips. Uh, yeah, so let's see if we can get a decent thing for the thing. Can we get a decent thing for the thing? Maybe. Ha 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 Something like that. Maybe over here would be better. I don't know. Maybe. Ha 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 Well, yeah. Different options. So, yeah, man, Rap Snacks. Um, I've reviewed a lot of things from Rap Snacks. Uh, so much so I have an entire playlist called Rap Snacks Reviews. So if you're interested in other goings on with the wrap snack stuff but like it's this weird branding thing where like basically it's like I, I don't know exactly how it works but typically they go over there and they get some sort of brand deal with like a given rapper or hip-hop artist or something like that and they go over there and put their name on snacks and they've you know had stuff with like really you know kind of like iconic ones like biggie and snoop um to you know more modern ones who you know not shitting on them or anything not saying they're not iconic in their own way but, you know, stuff like that. With this one, they've teamed up with a company called Gumbo. And it actually has a little thing on the back. So let's go through this real quick. Gumbo Brands is a revolutionary new cannabis and lifestyle company. Founded by black-owned entrepreneur power couple Kareem Luca Butler and uh, Alexis Major. As the top leading cannabis company... Uh, Gumbo has exploded with a brand expansion into the media world with a partnership with the top hip-hop artists. Gumbo Brand's major focus is making a difference, building wealth, and sharing knowledge within the black and brown communities via their give-back initiatives and alliances within the sports and entertainment industries. Huzzah! And then they look like that. Um, I, I have nothing on that. I, I am not a cannabis partaker. I ain't hating on anybody who is perfectly fine with me i'm just here to eat some potato chips so let's give them a go oh and so okay this is nothing against wrap snacks specifically or the gumbo or the cannabis whatever man i'm just pointing this out because i always point it out when i do chip reviews and almost all chips are like this Here's the bag, right? Look at the bag. It's about the size of my head. I got a big head. That is how many chips you actually get. Far less than the size of my head. We are getting gypped so bad. And again, nothing against wrap snacks specifically. It's the whole damn potato chip industry. But anyway. Hmm. Let's find a good one. Let's give it a go. Oh, that's good. Those are some good chips. I wish I had a lot more of them. Maybe 50% more. Um, look, I'll pay an extra 75 cents, you know. Just saying. Oh, these are really good, man. 
like the wrap snack stuff, you know, like I said, go watch my reviews if you want my opinion on the stuff I've tried. They tend to be a little bit hit or miss for me. Some of their things, I, some of their products I think are really good. I've never had one I don't think that I thought was bad. But there's definitely been some where I was, I felt they were very lackluster. Um, in this case, though, these are really good. These are, I, I would definitely say these are like amongst my favorite things that I've had from Wrap Snacks. The chips themselves are actually very nice. They got a nice crunch factor. And yeah, it's just it's very flavorful chips. Garlic definitely comes through for sure. The let's say the cayenne pepper. I would say the two biggest flavors flavor influences would be the onion and garlic and the the cayenne pepper sauce. It's not, the vinegar I'm not getting too much of. And I think with the red pepper, I think that kind of gets a little bit with the cayenne. Um, yeah. Yeah, I mean, okay. I do think you get a little bit of the vinegar. Man, I will say I wish, as much as I like these, I wish the vinegar had a little bit more prominent uh, role to play. But I can also understand kind of why it doesn't, because, again, it's allowing those other elements to really kind of lead the way. I definitely enjoy the cayenne pepper aspect of it. Um, you know, that in combination with, like, the red pepper. It gives it a nice little kick. It's not like a hot chip by any means. But it warms your mouth up a little bit, kind of goes to the back of your throat just a tiny bit. I like that. These are like a really, really, really good um, mix of like flavor and, you know, just, you know, that nice heat sensation and everything. They're very well balanced and they're super tasty. Like, I like these a lot. Now, do they taste like gumbo? I'm not the person to go over there and speak to that effect. I've had some gumbo in my day, but not like proper, proper gumbo. I'd love to. Now, I know at one point in time I was even looking up for like places that specialize in like, you know, that like Creole, like, and I apologize if I got that wrong because I know it's like, there's like different things with like in the New Orleans like cuisine and stuff like that. So I apologize if it's not Creole. Um, but I remember... I was, like, a few months ago, I was looking to see if there were places around me that specialized in that. And I'd, you know, try to review them. None that were that promising, unfortunately. But, I will say, these are some very tasty chips. I think they've got great flavor. I think they've got a nice balance to it. These are fantastic. Like I said, if I had more of them, I would be even happier. But I do think these are really good. So, uh, two questions have to be asked. Would I get them again? Would I recommend them? Absolutely and absolutely. Even with the limited amount in the bag, I do think these are very tasty. And, you know, I'm not going to say that I haven't had chips that are somewhat along the lines of these. Like, there's definitely, you know, New Orleans-style chips. Um, but these, I'll give them credit, man. I think they do a good job. I think they have, you know, nice personality. Like I said, I think they're balanced. There's something that I personally can absolutely get behind. As somebody who likes some flavorful chips, these, I think, hit perfectly for me. And if I'm recommending them to other people, like, I think the nice thing with these versus, again, certain other, you know, like, Cajun-style chips and stuff like that, some of those, I think, lean a little bit too hard into it, and they become a little bit one-dimensional. With these, you've got a lot going on, but they're still very flavorful, and so, yeah, there's something where I would, like, go over there and suggest, like, I think they're just really tasty chips. They got a great flavor to them. Whether or not they properly represent gumbo and New Orleans cuisine, I, again, I'm not the guy to go over there and say one way or another. But they are some damn tasty chips. So, good on you, Wrap Snacks. Good on you to uh, uh, the gumbo brands and that whole thing and stuff like that. Y'all came up with some badass chips. I appreciate you. Anyway, five things before I get out of here, folks. Have yourself a great rest of your day. Spectacular rest of your week. Monumental rest of your month. Dependence rest of your year, folks. Go over there and have yourselves truly 
gumbo-tastic rest of your life, man. I, again, I, I love, you know, it's like I'd probably have to go, like, you know, because, I mean, if you're going to do it, you know, it's, it's, like, it's like if you get deep dish, right? You know, like, I'm from Illinois, the Chicago area and everything. There are places outside of Illinois that make deep dish. Absolutely. But if you want it proper, you got to get it in Illinois, ideally in Chicago, although the Chicagoland area has got plenty of great places anyway. It's like I'd probably have to go to New Orleans. And it's like I'm not against the idea of going to New Orleans, but then that's a whole other thing. Travel and all kinds of stuff. We'll see. Final two things. Number one, try to bring some positivity in your world. It's not always possible. It is, however, always appreciated. But what you do if can't do all the time, I know I can't do all the time. Here's what you're going to do, folks. You're going to try not to be an asshole. Folks, it's not always the easiest thing in the world to not be an asshole. Trust me. I know it. I live it. I'm out there every day with you in it. Life can be stressful and frustrating, just bullshit sometimes. And when we're forced to deal with those situations, it's important we go over there. We at least try. Take a step back. Try to mitigate the level of assholishness in our lives. Hopefully do better for ourselves and for those around us. Very final thing, folks, do the thing. Whatever the thing is for you, that's what I want you to go out and do. Folks, maybe you are an expert on gumbo. Maybe you know all the gumbo-isms, right? And maybe you go over there and you try out these chips, and then you go over there and you hit me up in the comments. You're like, Brandon, well, the chips are very tasty, you know, proper gumbo this, and then this, and this, and this, and this. And I'd be like, oh, okay, that's cool. That's interesting to learn. First of all, I love learning about stuff. Second of all, you know, that's just super neat. <clears throat> then maybe you go over there and you invite me out, you know, maybe if I'm in New Orleans sometime, you know, show me the proper gumbo spots and stuff like that. And be like, all right, shit, you know, we'll go. I'll, I'll, I'll do a gumbo crawl. Don't fucking tempt me with a good time. Be dead after, like, the third place, man. Fucking just full-on gumbo. I'd be so for that, man. I, like, I would genuinely, genuinely really like to go to New Orleans. Like, my mom went, I know, a number of times in her, in her younger days. Uh, she even got me a, a New Orleans shirt at one point, which was nice, but it was like, <laughs> okay, but I didn't go. <laughs> If I'd gone, it would have made sense. Um, but yeah, man, you know, just the, the cuisine and the culture and all that stuff, man, you know. It just seems like it'd be very, very cool. But anyway, maybe one day. Bye!